Today, hearings resumed for Dr. Catherine Roxanne Grawl. She went viral for her videos on TikTok, but she is now under fire after multiple patients filed lawsuits against her, accusing her of malpractice. Today, we heard from a state expert just one day after hearing from Dr. Growey herself. 10TV's Ashley Bernanton has the latest. Ashley? Today, the state's expert says there were multiple incidents where the local TikTok famous Dr. Catherine Roxanne Growey put patients' lives at risk, from not paying attention in procedures to putting someone in charge who was not qualified. The more I learn, the more I'm like, how in the world did I even allow myself to become one of her patients? Day two of hearings reveals more as the state's medical expert weighs in on the patient's procedures who are suing Dr. Roxy. Dr. Gregory Surfield, the state's expert, says all of patient one's infections were most likely caused from an abdominal injury from liposuction by Dr. Growey. He analyzed social media videos of Dr. Growey conducting liposuction and a tummy tuck and said several times the focus is taken off the patient. Dr. Surfield said Growey's tactics were, quote, reckless, days later leaving patient one in critical condition. When you look at the video, and many people have already seen the video, she definitely was looking away from the actual surgery to look at the camera. The defense says patient one did not follow discharge instructions, did not change her bandages, and remained in soiled diapers, which they said could have caused the damage. Defense attorney Sabrina Sellers adds the patient's husband refused to take her back to see Dr. Growey and went to the Ohio State Hospital instead. Dr. Surfield said patient three returned from a breast augmentation with several complications. He says this patient was given to a nurse practitioner to perform a hematoma evacuation, calling this a very complicated procedure that should have never been given to a nurse practitioner. To have that happen, knowing that this person really wasn't qualified to, when I say that's irresponsible, that is totally irresponsible. The defense continued to press the state's expert on his knowledge on these specific procedures. Sellers says today's expert witness does far less of these procedures each day. On Wednesday, patients will give their testimony, but no one is allowed in those proceedings. We are expecting the hearings to wrap up on Friday, and then July will be when the board will decide on Growie's medical license. Reporting in downtown Columbus, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10TV News.